Kuhn, Curse of Cycle, Saving Association for Mexican Jim Marbella at the Wayne for All or Nothing here at Liverpool. You look like you've just rolled out of bed. Oh, thanks, mate. Thought well, I was looking quite slick. Kel Brook put up a picture today of he's been with us four years from today, and I looked about 12. What? In the picture. The really? Picture. Yeah, have you not seen it? No, can you see it? Anyway, keep talking because otherwise this is boring content. Go on. I'm being distracted, I'm waiting for this picture. <laughs> right there, right there. I don't even fucking see it. Find us here. Anyway, look. No, you, I'm showing you, not the world. Oh, okay. That's, that actually upset me this morning. It's what boxing's done to me. Aged you? Aged me, probably lost a bit of Barnet. Yeah, four about years two stone. Yeah, I know, but, you know. Yeah. It's only four years, isn't it? None of us getting any younger. Um, all weighed in now, all yep. set for tomorrow. Yep. Um, pretty standard weighing. Standard procedure, everyone made the weight nicely. Um, Callum Smith is an absolute lump at 12 stone. Now he makes 12 stone and makes it easy as well. Rebrass is in good shape. Vera looks in good shape. Give me two great tear ups there. Tony's man looks nice and big. And still getting stick for that one. A couple of other really interesting little matchups on the card. Martin and Needham. Martin and Needham is a really, really good fight. I mean, uh, probably should be for the English title actually, defence, but it's over eight. That'll be our first televised fight. And then um, Tom Doran's in an interesting fight as well, a guy called Mike Biles who just knocked out a, a home fighter last week and looks massive at middleweight. So um, looking forward to it, mate. I think it's about 11 fights on the, on the card, starting from 5.30. Um, on TV will be Tommy Martin against Terry Needham, then will be Martin Murray, then will be Tony Bellew, then will be Rocky Fielding against Brian Vera, and then Callum Swift against Christopher Rebrass. So Friday night antics, tomorrow night at the Echo Arena. Are you expecting any upsets? Yeah, I am actually, yeah. I am, yeah. I don't think... I was talking to Adam Booth this morning, funnily enough, and I was talking about the Rebrass against Callum Smith fight. And, you know, Callum's like a massive odds-on favourite to win this fight, and Adam said it's a really tough fight because Callum's not been in at that level. We're hoping, and I believe he is, as good as we believe he is, then he's, I think he can stop Rebrass. Rebrass is very tough to stop. So, and I think Rocky Field in Brian Vera, I think... If that goes deep, that fight, it's going to be really, really tough. I think, you know, Rocky's got a good chance of hurting him early. But I think the longer that fight goes on, the more Brian Vera's going to be in that fight. So Gallagher seems to think that fight will go the distance between Callum and Christopher. I think you'd have to, you know, looking at Rebrass's record and how durable he is, you know, saw against Groves, Groves is a big puncher. Um, I just think it's going to be interesting to see. If someone tweeted me yesterday and said, they sent me a picture of Rebrass and Groves in the weight, and obviously Rebrass is much bigger than Groves, because he's, he's a huge super middle, and Callum dwarfs Rebrass. People don't understand how big Callum Smith is, and people think, oh, he must really struggle to make the weight. He doesn't. So he's a massive super middle, and he punches so hard. Um, so it's going to be difficult for Rebrass to stand up, but Rebrass is a level well beyond you know, anyone who Callum's fought, so it's going to be very, very interesting. Mm. Um, this is the last time I'm going to talk to you for a good couple of weeks, I think. Oh, is it? Oh, where are you going? I'm going on holiday. Oh, are you? Yeah. I didn't know that. Where are you going? Just, Would you like um, that to remain secret? Secret. Is it in Europe? No. Really? Mm. So I'll be away for around nine days. Fine, then. What are we so going to do? Have you got anything what's the boxing world going to do? James Helder. Ne yeah, what's the boxing world going to do? James Helder. <laughs> yeah, what's the boxing world going to do? So, um, we've got... Uh, Probably a few announcements rolling in next week about September the 12th. We're getting there now, starting to really take what, shape. press conference wise? Press conference probably won't be till the, after July the 18th. Right, okay. We'll get that done. We've got a public workout on Saturday in Manchester with Quig and Crawler. Um, where is that? In Manchester. Yeah, Piccadilly where? Billy Gardens or something. We'll oh. announce it uh, this afternoon on Twitter. Um, then we've got um, the Warrington show going on sale next week more more announcements about the undercard for that fight meeting up with Lee Selby early next week to try and get out his first defence um, and then yeah September 12th just building that really finalising Coyle against Campbell undercard that's for, tickets are flying for that but after after Friday it's really all lies on July the 18th ok you got anything else interesting to say because I'm really out here I'm interviewed with death this week. Um, what can I tell you?
Just, just, no, it's just loads of planning, really. Just wait and see who Mayweather's going to fight. Yeah. I know we talked about it yesterday, didn't it? but I saw a little bit on Boxing Scene about Berto said that he keeps phoning me and harassing me and deep breathing calls to me. Something about a woman, I don't know whether that's just a little sort of uh, plan to try and build the fight, I don't know, but we shall see. All right. Callum Swift there and uh, Callum Bailey. Who's on the phone to? He's on the phone to talk sport. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Is that okay with you? Yeah, it's fine. Great and master. All right, Eddie, thanks for talking to Eiffel TV and uh, enjoy your show tomorrow night. Cheers, mate. And, uh, speak to you soon.